Good morning, everyone. My name is Eugenie Anadali. Today, me and my friend going to present about the financial analysis of Berjaya Food Berhad. Berjaya Food Berhad was incorporated in Malaysia on 21st October 2009. Berjaya Roasted is engaged in the development and operation of the Kenny Rogers Roasted chain of restaurant in Malaysia. Berjaya Food Berhad owned Starbuck Coffee Company on 18 September 2014 and Jollibean on 7 November 2012. The strength of Berjaya Food Berhad is it on a franchise of several re-owned brands in food and beverages that is brand with strong market shares. It provides high priority of their staff and provide training to their business partner. Next is the weakness of Berjaya Food Berhad. Berjaya Food Berhad, uh, the weakness of Berjaya Food Berhad is that the services and product are higher in price. The opportunity of Berjaya Food Berhad is it has uniqueness in their product and many franchise. Next is trade. The trade is in the form of on uh, prices offer in the market. The competitor might offer much more affordable prices when they notice that their prices are more expensive. The competitor will capture the customer attention by promoting slightly the same product just like Bajaya Food Bahad on and customer will take it as a substitute. From this SWOT analysis, it is wise for Berjaya Food Berhad to see this company on different strategy. They should consider the strategy that is necessary to maintain their business performance in the market environment. Our company use analysis tools uh, to to uh, use analysis tool, which is comparative analysis to analyze our financial. Based on the statement of profit or loss, the revenue for Berjaya, Berjaya, Berjaya Food Berhad keeps on increasing starting 2014 until 2018. This might, mean, this might be due to their product able to meet their customers' expectation and they able to produce variety of product based on their market research. As for cost of sales, it showed that there is decrease on year 2014 to 2018. The net income earned by this company declining from 2000 15 to 2018. This is because of the increase increase on the expenses of the company, such as selling and distribution expenses, administrative expenses, and operating expenses. The increasing in operating are caused by a higher cost charge by supplier. Expenses of the company affected affected a bit where the their EBIT keep on decreasing from 2014 to 2018. Even though the company sales revenue is kept on increasing from 2014 to 2018 and their net income are positive, it doesn't it does not indicate that Bajaya Food Berhad are in a very good position since their expenses are too high. The increase of revenue for, the, for this company comes from the increase of the demand for their product that lead to higher sales from year to year. Next, we move to ratios analysis. As we can see, the current ratio and quit ratio from year 2014 to 2017 was declined. And increase in 2018. It because of the increasing in total current asset 
and current liability. In 2018, the total asset and liability increased significantly. The average collect collection period decreased from 27.82 days in 2015 to 25.09 days in 2017. However, in 2018, it increased to 25.42 days. The sale revenue of Vijaya Food Berhad shows improvement from year 2014 to, to 2018. When sale in, will sales increase, account receivable will increase. The company should maintain the days after shortening the period, which is 25.09 days. The number of COGS increased year by year from 2014 to 2018. The DSI also increased. Next, for asset utili utilization, auto was increased from 12.94 times to 14.35 times in year 2015 to 2017 and decreased to 14.16 times in year 2018. It means the period taken in collecting the account receivable is getting shorter. From year 2015 to 2017, the company managed to reduce their credit sales offer to customer. However, in 2018, the company failed to maintain their SCP and lead to increasing in SCP. Next is Foto. Foto was declined from 3.88 times in 2015 to 2.84 times in 2018. The amount invested in fixed asset increased more than the amount of sales revenue. The increasing in amount of fixed asset will affect the amount of investment in total asset. Therefore, Tato declined from year 2015 to 2016. However, in 2017 to 2018, Tato increased slightly from 0 0.79 to 0 0.80. As for Ito, Ito shows decline, decline trend from year 2015 to 2017 and increase in year in 2018. The declining of ITO was mainly because of increasing amount of ending inventory. At the same time, the cost of goods sold increased in percentage but not as much, much as the percentage increase in ending inventory. Next, we move to operating performance and return on investment. The gross profit margin increased year from year 2014 to 2015. However, it declined in 2016 and increased from 2017 to 2018. The declining is because when the sale increased, the cost of material, labor, and overhead also increased because sometimes supplier may increase the cost. As Bajaya Food Berhad experienced the increasing experience the increasing uh, amount of indirect costs, it will lead to declining of operating and net profit margin. The declining of operating activity will affect the ROA and ROE. Both ROA and ROE are declining significantly. Lastly is capital structure and solvency. The debt ratio increased from 21.20% to 52.41% from 2014 to, to, to 2018. Debt to equity ratio increased for, from 0 0.22 times in year 2014 to 1.89 times in year 2016 and decreased in 2017. However, 
it shows increasing in year 2018. The long-term debt to equity ratio shows the same result as debt to equity ratio. This is because of increasing of the asset and liability from years 2014 to 2018. As for equity, total, total equity increased from year 2014 to 2016 and declined in 2017. Nevertheless, it increased in 2018. The times interest earned is decline, declining drastically from year 2014 to 2018. This is due to the decreasing in EBIT. Next, I will pass it to Ms. Emelina Ayu. Thank you, Ms. Eugenie. So now I will explain for the cash flow analysis for Bajaya Food Berhad. And this is the statement of cash flow from the year of 2014 to the year of 2018. So first, for the cash flows from operating activity, as we can see, the net cash flow from generated from op operating activities were increasing rapidly from the year 2014 to 2015, but then they were decreasing on the year 2015 to 2016 because their payment to the supplier and operating expenses are more on 2015 to 2016. They need to decrease the payment to the supplier and their operating expenses by finding the new supplier that can give much lower price but good in quality of the raw material. The receipts from customer for the year 2014 to 2018, the amount stated were increasing which means it is a good sign to the company because there are inflow of cash to the company and it can cover the cash for the payments of the tax and also for the payment to the supplier. So next, for the cash flow from investing activity, the net cash flow generated from investing activity are negative from the year 2014 to 2018. In 2017, the company spent huge amount in purchasing property, plant and equipment, and also intangible asset in order to increase the production to meet the growing demand. And by having negative amount of cash flow for the investing activities, they come out with new strategies where the company invests on property, plant and equipment, which means they buy more and advanced machine because of more demand of their product and they sell the old property, plant and equipment, which for them were outdated or for the capacity of the machine is not enough for production, so they buy the new one. Then, for the cash flows from financing activities, the net cash flow that generated from financing activity, there was increasing of huge amount of cash flow from 2014 to 2015. And on 2015, the cash inflows from financing activities was mainly from the drawdown of bank borrowing and also issuance of new stock to finance the acquisitions of the fixed asset and other things that the company need to uh, need the financial support to run the business smoothly. On 2017 and 2018, the net cash flow generated from financing activities were in negative. And then this is because the repayment of bank borrowings increasing plus the interest of the loan from the bank and as they take the drawdown of the bank borrowing more compared to the previous year. So based on the analysis, Berjaya Food Berhad is on the growing stage. The reason is because of the operating activities. Most of the income earned is to pay for operating expenses, where the outflow of cash are more than the inflow of cash to the company. And then for investing activities, the cash flow were in negative amount as the company spent huge amount of cash to purchase the asset to support the production and sales. And then for financing activities, the amount for the net cash flow generated from financing activity are 
uh, positive in 2014 to 2016, while for the 2017 and 2018, the net cash flow was negative. And then, this is because the company needs to borrow in huge amount from the external fund, like the drawdown bank borrowing for the financing of operating and investing activities such as buying fake asset. So next, we will move to prospective analysis of Berjaya Food Berhad. So this is the pro forma balance sheet uh, of Berjaya Food Berhad. So for prospective analysis, we have forecasted the sell growth each year have different percentage of sales growth for the items such as intangible assets, inventories, trade and other receivable, cash and bank balances, and trade and, all, and other payables are various directly with the sales growth. Each of the item is timed with 1.10% as each year is increased by 10%. These are the total of new balance sheet as the sales are growing. So next is the discretionary financing needed. As you can see here, the amount of financing need for the five years is negative. It, it shows that Berjaya, Berhad, Berjaya Food Berhad does not need any financing funding as Berjaya Food Berhad have generates more than enough cash to finance its asset growth. But if they ever still need financing funding, I suggest Berjaya Food Berhad go for equity financing because the ratio is more logical than debt financing. Berjaya Food Berhad could issue more com common stock for a fund. Then for the conclusion, Berjaya Food Berhad is a strong company and has many franchises that spreading all over the world. And they own a strong company and renowned company like Starbucks, Kenner's Rogers Roasters, 7-Eleven, and others company. And Berjaya Food Berhad has a very, very, very good background of the company. And from the overall analysis, Berjaya Food Berhad is a strong company that have many challenges that need that they need to take seriously. They must be able to analyze and implement a good decision based on the analysis so that their company is stable in order to compete with the business environment and other business company. Thank you. That's all from us. Thank you.